After the bombastic publication of the book Spare, by our dear Duke Harry and the millions of comments and criticisms, it seems that things are starting to return to normal. Of course, there is a lot of information to come, there are a lot of people who didn't like anything, nothing that Harry said in his book and we still have the threatening silence of the palace. The royal family, by tradition, does not get involved in gossip and silence is a way of keeping itself protected, if we can put it that way. But what is going through the mind of our dear King Charles? I'm Emily Clark and this is the Behind the Castle channel, where we bring you news related to the royal family and their friends and relatives. Before we go to today's information, I would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and leave a big and majestic like, to help us grow more every day. You are our source of energy and as comments come in we become more and more motivated to bring new content. Okay. So, without further ado, have you heard of a young woman named Jessica Mulrooney? Well, if you haven't, that's okay, I'll bring you up to speed. Jessica Mulrooney was one of the best friends of the Duchess when she lived, still as an actress on the series Suits, in Canada and, at some point, they were so close, that Meghan even called Jessica on the night that Prince Harry asked her in married. So far, so pretty, don't you think? However, it seems to me that they distanced themselves in 2020, when the designer was called a racist by lifestyle blogger Sasha Exeter for comments she made about white privilege as they talked about the Black Lives Matters movement. Although Jessica denied being racist, Sasha claimed the stylist left her paralyzed with fear. Following the blogger's allegations, Jessica issued three public apologies, however, she still faced consequences and was dropped by several television networks leaving her virtually unemployed. Storms continued to rain down on Jessica's head, when she was accused of using Meghan as her shield or superpower. There was the last straw in the almost full glass, however, she denied there was any truth to this and refused to talk about the Duchess during interviews. As the backlash against Jessica mounted, Meghan remained quiet and aloof on the subject. The friendship was no longer the same and many bet on a supposed fight between the friends. After all, racism is not something Meghan is going to put up with at all, for more than obvious reasons. Since this very embarrassing moment, Jessica has kept quiet about her relationship with Meghan, however, she broke her silence this weekend on Instagram, sharing a black and white photo of her and other friends of Meghan, taken at her wedding reception. Duchess of Sussex and shared by her in Prince Harry's explosive series. The photo was published without caption and with the post comments disabled, in an enigmatic movement. Why would Jessica do that? This is the first time the designer has recognized the Harry and Meghan documentaries, where she is mentioned ONLY by name. And you want to know more? Jessica didn't land any interviews in Netflix's explosive documentary series, despite some of Meghan's other closest friends making numerous, numerous appearances. Jessica didn't even comment on Prince Harry's memoir, Spare, which was released last week and where her name doesn't even appear. Harry makes no mention of her in the book and has not mentioned Jessica in any of his interviews to promote the book. And for her part, Jessica, a productive and active social media user with 414,000 Instagram followers, has not commented on Prince Harry's book. Instead, she shared an Instagram story about a pair of Nike sneakers. Here, she's shown a certain amount of contempt for the couple, and I think she's done a serious mistake as well as injustice to Meghan. Don't you think? When the waters were in her favor, she used and abused the image of the Duchess, but due to her own mistakes, we can even say childish ones, the tide changed direction and that left her hurt, with whom, we can even imagine, but I'm sorry Jessica, you are so wrong dear. Well, we reached some conclusions, Jessica really made a big mistake in her racist lines, even denying them. Meghan did not digest these comments well and the friendship suffered a seismic shock and Duke Harry did not want to touch on a subject that did not please his wife, much less spend lines and words, with a dove that was already dead. For the rest, draw your own conclusions my dear friends, as I always say, I have mine, but I prefer to keep them to myself. I want to read all your opinions here, in the comments below, make sure to write them down and subscribe to our channel. I say goodbye here and wait for you all in the next videos. God bless you all.